Uh, I have uh, with me now Manu Joseph, former editor of the Open. Uh, so Manu, you said through the entire, uh, uh, sure, entire screening, so what yeah. do you think? I thought it was very captivating, uh, but I was also observing the audience and uh, for an exposure of this nature, I, I realized that 99% uh, of the journalists were from the Indian language uh, press. I noticed that. Somehow the uh, English media, or what, what's called the mainstream media, I think has chosen to ignore it and I'm very curious to know why. It can't be just because some just because BJP is mentioned or have we reached that stage where if BJP is just mentioned we are going to black out some exposés. I'm going to wait and see actually. I'm very curious to know how the mainstream English media is going to cover this because I think in the next one or two years uh, we are going to ask what exactly is mainstream media and if the English television channels can still be called that. Also, uh, you've written a novel, uh, Serious Men, you know, where you talk about Dalits, you know, and there's a storm in the press conference, got stormy when people said this has got nothing to do with caste. Do you think that Indians refuse to accept caste as a reality? And what do you, th what do you think? I mean, because people here say this has got nothing to do with caste, but whereas, as I say, it was clearly caste violence, caste based violence. So, do you think Indians of our generation, you know, uh, refuse to see caste as a reality? No, I think they. They're pretty aware of caste. It depends on where they are. If they're going to be in McDonald's, they'll say they don't believe in caste. But then uh, uh, when they have to get married, I'm pretty sure most of India's youth included, they know their caste very well. But actually, one of the uh, members of the audience asked a question, which is a classic good question. Why are you calling it caste? This is about murder. Murder has no caste. We hear people saying the same thing. Uh, why are you calling it religious violence? This is not about religion. And I wish one of the panel members had, had said, no, this is caste. And, exactly. and religion is about murder most of the time. And caste is about murder. So this is about caste. And communalism is about religion. It is, it is, uh, murder is not separated from these things. But, but it is one of those classic good questions to which you get good answers by saying that, oh, yeah, it's murder, murder has no caste, murder has no religion. Also, now, a slightly cliched question. Do you think it's going to have any impact in the Bihar elections? Because uh, yesterday, uh, uh, BJP swept the MLC elections in uh, Madhya Pradesh in spite of Vyapam. So you think the middle class or, you know, uh, don't really care about scams or, you know, murders or caste-based violence? So what do you think is the reason? Because, because this is a scam as big as, big as the Vyapam and, you know, BJP swept the elections. See, honestly, even we are not surprised. I mean, we, we are... I thought the method of the sting operation was interesting. You don't hear murderers talking about how they committed the murder, so it was interesting. But we are not surprised that these things happened and that these things happen. So I don't think these things really matter during the elections. I think elections are about various other things. I don't think the electorate is under any illusion that their politicians are beyond these things. One last question. Do you think the story could have been done better journalistically? Because, you know, one of these guys mentioned that the army was involved and the certain politicians had helped them, uh, you know, procure uh, ammunition. Do you think those leads could have been followed? See, there is uh, no journalistic story needs to ever end, you know. Just like we know that every, any story can be a book and in, any book can be ten books. So, uh, at some point you need to draw a line. I think within... Um, uh, within the constrictions, I think they did a reasonable job. Uh, though I was very curious, one of the one of the guys who's Rai, I think he kept looking at something which is very close to the camera. So I was very, I was just wondering if he knew that there was some uh, there was a camera involved, or you know. And I would also want, I also wanted to know more details about whether they were promised money to be interviewed for the documentary because that was the ruse. So the small elements, for, purely from a journalistic point of view, I think those would be the questions we need to ask. If you enjoyed that, click up here to support us and down here to subscribe. Be sure to check out our older episodes and the other stuff we do like Can You Take It, I Agree, panel discussions, comics and animations and much, much more.